Hey everybody, we're St. Cinder, and this is our bus, Betsy. We're a five-piece band of hobo musicians that met in Ashland, Oregon. And our bus has taken us to every corner of the country. But it's more to us than just a bus, it's our home. Without it, most of us wouldn't have more than a hat to call a roof over our heads. But after all the love and energy that we put into her, it looks like she's finally going to bus heaven. We just took her on our first nationwide tour, and she carried everything we owned, as well as sometimes ten people and five dogs. The only extra room that we had was filled with instruments and tools to keep her running. She got us through all of our adventures, but if it wasn't for some good mechanics on board, she might never have made it. As many times as Betsy wanted to give up on us, that was never an option. This little yellow school bus with its pop belly stove and its six bunks was the only thing between us and our thumbs out on the highway. But no matter what, we gave everything that we had to make sure that it kept moving down the road. This is why we need a new thing. Because our, our, our hat. John! Let's take a tour of our bus! I got to check my headlight fluid. Hmm. All right, let's just start out with a few basics here. Where is this going to? What does this do? That's not a standard issue tennis ball. And this, that's an end. And this fan is for a Honda Civic. This engine, 366 Chevy Big Block. So the reason for this is while we were on tour last year, our metal fan exploded, put holes in the radiator, which we fixed, blew our belts, and in all of that we did it in an AutoZone parking lot over the course of two days. Well, what is all this fluid right here? Huh? Oh, there it is. That's our power steering pump. And if you see here, these are two zip ties that are holding it on. It's got free movement, self-suspension, if you will. Brake lines are leaking. Right. Here we are. Transmission's leaking. Dagan here with St. Cinder. Let's take a look at our tires here. These tires, you might have seen these tires back in the late 70s, early 80s, because that's when they stopped making them for vehicles. And this is what we're trying to deal with every time we blow a tire in the back, which happens pretty frequently. Here we are with another tire problem. This here, right here, you've probably never seen that. It's called a split rim. Uh, the problem with this is, is that if this tire were to pop or explode in any manner, three pieces of this would go hurling out into God knows what. What do they call them, Dick? They call them suicide rims. Hey, let's go for a trip down the road. How much gas is in here? Oh, gas gauge doesn't work. Let's step outside. We're getting our good old fashioned uh, gas rope, just like Grandpappy used to do. This lets you know right here this knot if you're at a quarter tank or not. Don't forget your Mountain Dew cap. Oh, yeah. oh she's looking pretty low, folks. <laughs> Here we go. We got about a quarter tank, so we're gonna go for a trip. All right, let's start her up. Oh, she ain't starting. You know what that means. Now, now let's take a look at how Betsy did on our last tour.
first 500 miles, we had to trick trip away because we ran out of gas. And in Stockton, the sleet, mud, rain, and blood, our fan, bell, and radiator all went. And then needles, a flat tire. Austin, our starter began to go, and so begins the pushing. In Pennsylvania, our radiator and transmission began leaking bad. In the Northeast, Betsy ran, but she was on a slow decline. Right outside of there in Chicago, we hit a flat tube, another $200. Jackson, Minnesota, a carburetor broke down. Rapid City's a week of car breakdown. Northwest, we've had a flat tire, distributor, and a rad hose. Well, folks, that's where we are. After our last adventure, Betsy made it back to Oregon, but the cold, wet Northwest winter is coming, which for us means going somewhere that the climate suits our clothes. Our first fully booked tour starts in Flagstaff on December 3rd. Either we take Betsy on a kamikaze mission through the desert and hope we have enough money for a bus when she finally goes to that big parking lot in the sky, or with your help, we hit the road with a little bit of hope. What we need to keep bringing music and smiles to people like you is a new way to get down the road. We don't need much, just a place to lay our heads for the night and get us from one town to the next. And it's gonna take a lot of help and a little bit of luck and a lot of hope. But with any of that, then we'll see you down the road. We need a bigger bookshelf because it's, it's overflowing and I can't sleep because there are too many books on my bunk and I'm just getting closer to the edge every day. I live on the top bunk so that's, that means falling so that would be nice to get a bigger bookshelf. <laughs>